Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Zone of the Enders, the enemy continuing in their incredibly evil ways with no regard at all for civilian life, has repurposed some microwave energy transfer antennas to create a giant microwave death field that we can't get through because it would fry us and also kill all the civilians in the immediate area, so we gotta go to those antennas and destroy them. You can see two EPS antennas on the mountains ahead of us. We can now approach them and destroy them. Excellent. No SOS is broadcasting, so can go straight to our next mission objective. Summits are EPS antennas. I detect enemy activity. Watch for them on the approach. So here we come to a more naturey area, a very sort of step mountain kind of thing. So this is just yet more indication that as long as you were confident in all the life support systems, living here would be really interesting. Not only do you have this incredible view of Jupiter and the surrounding space. But, in addition to having urban areas, suburban areas, you also have these beautiful nature areas. How exactly we managed to just tear up giant pieces of earth and soil and, and plants and put them in a giant space colony, I'm not sure, but that's pretty awesome. Maybe it was Metatron. All right, so if we just review our mission objective, destroy the power supply facility of EPS-1 and 2. You can destroy a porter using a sniper in a long-range situation. Okay, and if we take a look at the area map here. Okay, so we've got a red spinning cube. I don't think that means Metatron, does it? I'm not sure what that is. Maybe we should go check it out. We see that there's a bunch of porters, a whole lot of porters. We're going to want to destroy those to release the vector trap and see what we get. Lots of enemies. A lot of them have ammunition. So, yeah, all kinds of stuff here. Oh, and we see that there's arrows and what looks like a road going into the side of the hill. Lots of stuff to investigate. I kind of feel like maybe the first thing I might want to do is destroy all the enemies to get them out of our hair, because they're going to bumble into us while we try to explore everything. Oh, that's a lot of enemy groups. Oh, these guys have geyser ammo. Okay, we'll be able to try our new weapon. Alright, get wrecked. It is cool when you get into kind of a fencing match and the enemy is parrying your attacks. Alright, we have geyser now. Let's equip it and see what a useless weapon this is. First of all, we want to be closer to the ground to use it at all, I think, so this is not a good situation for it. Let's grab this guy. Get, get out of here. Okay. Yeah, when we're fighting high in the air, we don't want to use the geyser. Okay, we're kind of close to the ground now. Uh, it's that weapon. It's, it's useless. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to get good use out of the geyser. Maybe there's clever ways to use it well. I don't remember ever really using it. Uh, so what's this then? Okay, more ammo. So I guess red spinning cube is ammunition. Well, there's a porter or portal, whatever it is. The game calls it porter, so I guess I will too. Right here, so let's destroy it. Unknown. Interesting. I wonder what that means. Let's destroy this group and find out what unknown means. Alright. Hit him with the javelin. Okay, we got him. Let's practice the grab on this guy. Oh, maybe not if he's going to be shooting lasers at us. Okay. What is unknown? 
didn't seem to show up in programs. Oh, we can review the programs we've got. So the Javelin, Geyser, Phalanx, and Sniper are all drivers. The Monitor and Global Arc F command, whatever the F stands for in this context, and Antilia.info. EPS system data contains power supply facility info, etc. So I don't know what that unknown got us. All right, here's another porter. There we go. Let's get the next enemy group. They have more geyser ammo, not that we care. Ugh. The damage didn't seem high there, but if you get caught in, like, cross beams, if there's multiple of them cross-firing you, you can get kind of stunlocked, and the damage will get high really fast, as I remember. So, those will always be priority targets. Alright, got that guy. Next porter. Okay, there's one over there. We have destroyed a oh. Another one here. More enemy groups. We've destroyed enough of them. They shouldn't be bothering us too much. We have destroyed a porter. And we see another one, another two over here. That's a lot of porters scattered all over the place. Not sure if it's necessary to have quite so many. We have destroyed a porter. Where'd the next one go? There it is. We have destroyed a porter. Still haven't released the vector trap. Two more over in this direction. That group has Metatron, so I'm gonna try not to fight them unless I'm low on hit points to and I need the life refill. We have destroyed a porter. Excellent. I know, saw that there was another one over here. Where is it? Okay, it's behind that hill. That's why it disappeared. We have destroyed a porter. Still haven't released a vector trap. Oh, there's another one over there. Kind of eerie looking, that antenna bathed in a giant column of blue light over there. See the city lights sloping upward in the distance, that giant shaft. I know I keep splurging over the scenery, but it's just so well done. Alright, finally. Where did it appear? Is that it over there? Okay, right in front of us. Oh, are we going to have to fight that group to get it? Maybe. Well, maybe not. We have obtained the passport. Halberd. Wonder what the halberd is. I do not remember. Another weapon. We're gonna need ammunition for it, obviously. Okay. Oh, we can also zoom this in and out, although just a little bit. Uh, anything else here? Group with Metatron. Another group with Metatron. All right. So, uh, what we haven't done is try to destroy the antenna. We can't. We can't destroy them. I can see that there is a fallback plan to destroy these targets. The EPS system has an emergency generator underground. By going in through the maintenance passage at the foot of the mountain, you can destroy the underground emergency EPS generator. And you tell me this now? Is anything wrong? No, nothing. <laughs> Leo and Ada having a little bit of a spat again. Their interaction does amuse me. Uh, runners, which is sort of the name of a, for pilots in this setting. Runners and the AI controlling their orbital frames, forming kind of an awkward bond, is a bit of a running theme in the Zone of the Enders franchise. I think it's done pretty well in this game. Well, if we have to go underground, I think it's 
Ada, shut up. Good lord. I think it's pretty clear where we find that. Okay. Here it is. All right. So hey, this is a change. We've been fighting in kind of wide open areas up until now. But now we're in a tunnel, very confined area. Nice change of pace to enter almost sort of a dungeony kind of area. Okay, and the enemy has set up traps for us in here, it seems. Oh, that was easy. An intersection. Okay, I guess we'll go straight. Kind of expected this would be another ambush zone. I think we've already figured out the pattern for this tunnel. We got more phalanx ammo. Which could prove to be a little more useful than I thought against the laser guys if it can stunlock them. Though the damage is just pathetically low. Haha! Thought you'd get the drop on me. You can roughly tell how much health enemy robots have left by the color uh, of the text indicating their level. Looks like we found it. And I see a server icon. I wonder if that is in the direction of the intersection, uh, the turn that we didn't take. Okay, here we go. There we go. The emergency EPS generator has been destroyed. The EPS has ceased functioning. Excellent. Just what we wanted to hear. So let's backtrack and take that turn that we didn't take before and see if it leads us to that server that we saw on our HUD from the generator room. Okay, here's the turn. You can tell by the pipes under the grating. It's hard to move the camera to focus on things I want to show. Get wrecked. We, have shot down the enemy. we sure and did, Ada. Aha! It's red, which means we don't have the passcode for it. We need the pass code. This one needs two passcodes, okay. I don't remember exactly what's in that server, but if it needs two passcodes, it must be pretty cool, hopefully. So let's try to find those. Alright, guess we're done in here for now, but we'll come back for that server once we have the passcodes. Okay, and I think we're done here. We destroyed the generator, we saw that there is a server in there, we destroyed the porters, and... Oh, what's that? Oh, did... hmm. That spinning green column means the server we have the passcode for, right? Oh, we got the password for the halberd and then never actually got the halberd, I think. Derp. Well, let's go do that. Okay, yeah, I guess that's what happened. All right, let's go take care of that. I was just derping out, I suppose. Glad that I did one last check on the area map. We're probably going to have to fight those guys. Yeah. Let's see if I can try to grab this guy and throw him into the mummy head. Nope, he'll just stab me when I try to grab him. I just think I'm not really going to use the grabbing mechanic much. I just get stabbed every time I try it. I don't know, maybe we don't even need the phalanx to stunlock these guys. Just approach them firing your normal weapon and it seems to do the same thing. We have obtained the Metatron Aura. We have obtained the program. Okay, now we've got the driver for the Halberd. We just had the passcode before. But we st 
still need... Oh, we have ammunition for it. Powerful energy sword. Appears when button is pressed and retrieved when pressed again. That sounds interesting. We'll equip that and next time we fight some enemies, we'll test it out. Oh, right now, I guess. Oh, it's the laser! Okay, we just got the laser weapon. Now that's a sub-weapon I might actually make some use of. Okay, awesome. That, that's a sub-weapon I'm actually happy to have. Alright, now we're done with this area for real. Looks like ammo for it is really limited though. It goes down fast once you have it deployed. So, go figure. The one good sub-weapon in the game and it goes through its ammo really fast. Why am I not surprised? Um, I don't want to accidentally fire it if ammo is so limited. So we'll go with the javelin for now and area change. Hold on. No SOS signals, so onward to EPS2. I, whoa. What is that flashing question mark at City 1, though? I want to investigate that. Question mark says to me, something of interest. Well, here's some intense techno beat. Okay. Hmm. Metatron, bullets, bullets, nothing, Metatron, nothing? Why was there a question mark here? Aha! Underneath the shaft. Clever. Let's go see what that is. Nerr. Well, recommend whatever you like, Ada. Now ah, you're just level one, you're not scary. Get halberded. Or javelined, I mean. Okay, we're enemies are just swarming all over us. Okay, and that guy's level four. That's actually a little scary. You know what? Maybe we will pull out the phalanx for this. Man, ah, durable. Okay, finally. Okay, I guess we're just going to fight everything on the map. Fine. All right, good, good aim there, Phalanx. Well, we got more failing ammo, so it was that. Alright, let's fight this guy. He seems aggressive, and he's level 4. Alright, I threw him. Wasn't even trying, but... Oh, well, he got the best of us there. Haha, -ha, dodged that one, though. The combat in this game is so fast and fluid and fun. It... I've never played a giant robot game that has controls as fluid and fun to use as the Zone of the Enders series. Nothing has managed to even match, let alone surpass this. There was some Switch game, I forget what it was called, that seemed like it was trying to do something similar to Zone of the Enders, but it just did not capture the sheer fun of these controls. It also didn't have nearly as interesting a setting, so there was that too. But both the gameplay and the, the setting just didn't seem quite up to scratch. At least not compared to this series. Okay, well, that was exciting. We got to fight a whole horde of enemies. Now, what is this thing? Mummy. 
What is mummy? Armor repair weapon. Player frame armor will be repaired while button is pressed. So it's a heal. That's awesome. That's so cool. I had not remembered this apparently secret thing you can get. That is way cool. All right, glad we went and checked that out. Area change. Area changey. Okay, now that we have that, I might make a game save. All right, and then head to the next EPS. Yeah, we can save on, I don't know what you would call it, the world map. I had made a save uh, while I was testing there, as you can see. We will overwrite it. We do not need that test save any longer. Testing slash practicing. The objects on the summits are EPS antennas. Destroy the underground emergency EPS generator. Okay, so it seems to be pretty much the same thing again. Uh, looks like there is a server we don't have the password for right in front of us. Is there anybody with a passcode here? I don't see it. B, B, so that's a lot of ammo. B. And then Metatron. And there should be a similar, yes, underground passage. Hmm. All right, well, I guess first let's investigate. Oh, well, we got ambushed, so never mind. Get wrecked, please. Level four. We're level four now as well. Maybe it is based on how many enemies we destroy? Kind of an invisible experience point system. I, I honestly just don't remember. So what is this? We need the passcode. Gauntlet. Okay, I don't remember what that is. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything else for us, so let's just head to the underground passage after we kill these guys. Also, it's so obvious I didn't really feel the need to point it out, but clearly there's a very Egyptian theme going on in this game as well. With a lot of the way the mechs look, the fact that Je Jehuti has a very sort of jackal god look to it, the mummy weapon we just got, the mummy head enemies, etc, etc, etc. field is the one above that is correct then we can't go any further that is correct let us depart this facility for now we should try to find another way i detect an enemy with a reinforced program be careful <laughs> what kind of it's like he was doing a little martial arts come at me dance or something okay so the going around to different areas finding items we need to proceed continues yeah this sequence of the game has a whole lot of that so new enemies with a reinforced program eh? is there any reason to fight them they have a passcode so to me that says yes okay i am pointing in the completely wrong direction so go me for the outer area of the battle zone Mm, try to avoid unnecessary fights. What are you even firing at? You're just going around firing at nothing. Bizarre. Level 4 S. I wonder if the S means it's reinforced and stands for super special. Something like that. Oh, that guy's just level 3. Maybe they have a level 4 leader? I don't know. Well, they're dying pretty easy. Reinforced. Okay, that guy ambushed us from the side. Okay, we just took a huge pile of damage. Never mind, this is not easy. And we got thrown. 
Okay, wow. This guy is tough. Whew. We have shot down the enemy. We have obtained the passcode. Any Metatron? We got a pass control one. We haven't seen any servers to say anything about control. The fact that it said one, does that mean that it is one of two passcodes we need for the server we found in EPS one? Maybe. I'm not seeing, oh, there's some Metatron. I want to kind of save that mummy item we got, the heal, for really dangerous situations where there's no heals on the map. So I'm going to defeat these guys and get the Metatron from them to, he them to heal after that difficult fight. Oh wow, that guy got a hit in on us. He tried to grab us, but we were attacking, so he failed. Alright. So since we don't have the passcode to the gauntlet, and the control server isn't here, again, that's probably an EPS-1, I think we're done here. So we need to find somewhere else with a passcode then is my assumption. I don't know where that is. Let's try Town 1. The search resumes. Aha. In this area. It will look the same, but its fighting ability will be far superior. Be careful. That sounds promising. Okay, passcode enemy past a veritable gauntlet. We might want to destroy the enemy groups closest to the passcode guys so they don't ambush us while we're fighting them. The others seem like they're on patrol routes that are fairly far away. Just randomly destroy. Okay, well, these guys intercepted us, so whatever, they get to die. Level 4. They actually do seem to have better AI in addition to better stats when their level goes up, so I, I guess enemy level affects both of those things. Both how well they fight and their damage and defense. Useless guys or weaponry. We are heading for the outer area of the battle zone. Mm, those Metatron guys are close to the enemies with the passcode, but I kind of don't want to fight them until we're low on health because they have Metatron. Oh, God. A group of three reinforced mummy heads. I'm sure they have lasers. Okay, this looks like it's going to be nasty. Because if they get us in a crossfire, they'll just stunlock us and do unbelievable amounts of damage. So we cannot allow allow that to happen. But they keep their shields up so much that it's really hard to damage them from a distance. You kind of have to get close and do a bunch of fancy maneuvers. Or maybe shoot them while they're firing their lasers? Okay, that seems to work. However, its health is still in the green, so it's going to take forever to kill this thing. Especially because we miss half the time when we fire while on the move. Pretty sure we're taking more damage than they are. Is there a better strategy than this? Surely there must be. I kind of want to focus one down. The fewer there are, the easier they'll be to deal with. We finally got this one into yellow health. I know this is a lame way to fight them, but I don't know a flashy, cool-looking way to fight them that doesn't get our butts kicked. Enemy is approaching 
Okay, that's exactly what I wanted to avoid! And they ambushed us. Cyclopses seem to love ambushing with a throw. Cyclopes, rather. Okay, we're, we're kind of getting owned. This is going real bad. Was this the group with the Metatron, at least? I do not want to have to fight a bunch of enemies while also fighting the reinforced laser mummy heads. The enemies are doing a good job of working together to try to corner us as well. Okay, that was badly needed. Ada, I, I am fighting for my life. I do not care about damage to the surroundings. You can call me a bad runner or whatever you want. I am just trying not to die. Okay, finally. Man, yet another one? Also, did the level 4 guy fully regenerate? His health looks green again. So all that effort that we put into hurting him was for nothing, apparently, and we're getting owned again. <sighs> this is a pain. Please just take damage. Quit blocking every damn thing I do. There's got to be a strategy for this. It can't be this tedious. Okay, the javelin seems to penetrate, so there's that. Also, that guy doesn't even have a laser. Come on, Javelin. There we go. Ugh. Almost. Finally! Okay, we're getting destroyed again. And yeah, his health appears to have regenerated. Seems unfair. Don't know why. There's got to be a better way to do this. I wonder if I should try my halberd on them. Maybe when I've destroyed one. I have a feeling that because you're pretty much immobilized while you're firing the halberd, that if I tried it while there's three, they would just get me in a crossfire and obliterate me. Come on, their health is ridiculous. Okay, that guy covered for his friend. Also, I... Uh... There we go. Okay, and we got a repair. Let's see how the halberd does. Okay, I was afraid that would happen. No! No! That I don't need. Okay, the halberd is pretty effective against these guys. I don't really need it once there's only one left. I think I found the way to defeat those guys then, the halberd. Okay, we'll remember that. Sadly, ammo for it is painfully limited because it's by far the best weapon in the game. Okay, we got the passcode, right? Uh, let's... Well, we're pretty healthy, but even so, let's try to avoid further combat. Um, anything else for us here? I think the spinning blue cube is Metatron. We don't need it. We're in pretty good health. Okay, whew! That was a tough fight, but we managed to do it. So... Next episode, now that we have both passcodes, we're going to return to EPS1 and see if those passcodes were needed to open up that server that we saw in there. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I'll see you then.